Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. Today what I'm going to discuss with you is a, a part of the Concord 4 system called Service Touchpad Mode. What the Service Touchpad Mode does is enables you to hook up temporarily a custom English keypad um, like a ATP 1000 temporarily to your Concord 4 or Concord Express without having to go into program and and you know deleting the keypad out of the system once you leave program because what happens is, is there's a lot of people out there that didn't know this that they would get a ATP 1000 keypad like this okay they would hook it up to their panel and then they go oh, it's not working it's not working so what they would do is they power the system down powered it back up the system would do a bus scan and it would automatically program this into the accessory module section of the Concord 4 all right now if you were to do that and you were to take this keypad off and then go your merry way go to your next job in about an hour that customer's keypad is going to start screaming saying hey I miss my little buddy where did he go because what you failed to do you failed to go back into the accessory bus modules and delete your alpha keypad out of the system the way I'm going to show you to do this is called service touchpad mode you don't have to worry that the panel um, scanned your keypad and put it into its memory this is just a temporary pro, you know programming keypad for you um, you can do your programming pull it off the panel and the panel is none the wise it'll never it'll never miss the it'll never miss that keypad because it did not scan the bus and take that number and put it into its memory and I'm going to show you how um, to put it into service touchpad mode so what we'll do down here is I'm, I'm at a customer's house and all they have are just fixed English keypads and they want me to add a door window contact to their system all right hello mr. customer Gary from DIY electronics and I'm going to be adding a contact into your system for you so let me get you down here in the vent all right usually I got this set up on a board it's a lot better but but anyways we got a conquer fall we got the customers keypad and we got my programmer okay so now my programmer usually has a dongle on it and you just you know poke it right in here to the dongle port but I no longer have a dongle I sold it um, so what I got is I got my keypad and I got it wired directly into the bus which is the same as this they're interconnected there's no difference between these two just because this is called the programmer bus doesn't doesn't mean you know crap these are exactly the same all right this is just a quick way to pop your programmer on all right so what you do is make sure you do not power down the system while you're wiring up your your programmer or you know putting this plug in there do not power the system down because as soon as you power it up it's going to do a bus scan and it's going to permanently put this serial number into the Concord 4 and that's what putting it into the service touchpad uh, mode uh, prevents all right so now I'm gonna wire up my ATP keypad I already had everything on there except for the power so I got the power on it so my ATP is program is that is powering up okay now what you want to do of course you're there for a service call you're gonna be adding in this this contact so you already know what the installer code is so you hit to put it into service touchpad mode you hit eight four three whoop I got a loose wire gentlemen ladies and gentlemen I got a loose wire okay let's try it again eight four I got a loose wire hang on guys where is it where is that little loose wire it must it must be the my power line let me just re reset this Let's try it again, guys. Bum, 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 bum.
Here we go. Eight, four, three, two, one. The command is zero two. It beeps once, and the star starts to, um, you know, flash up here, telling you that there's a trouble. So you hit the star key. Service touchpad is active. That is the service touchpad. So now let's go ahead and do our programming. So we, we want to put that contact into the system. So eight four three two one zero zero. System programming. Hit the pound. Go up to your sensors. And everything I'm showing you now, guys, I got other videos on it. I'm not going to go over each step. Sensors. Hit the pound. Learn sensor. Hit the pound. Uh, sensor partition is one. Sensor group, we'll just leave it at zero. Trip sensor one. All right. So I'll come over here. I'll open. Beep. It's in there. So now you want to hit the star. You want to get completely out of the system. Exit program. Okay. So now it says the service touchpad is still active. But I want to show you guys something. Let's go back into program. Eight, four, three, two, one, zero, zero. I just want to go into accessory module. That's where your keypads are programmed in. Hit the pound. Bus serve, you know, uh, bus devices. Yep. All right. So it's showing 1062. Okay. And that's what this keypad is. You really can't see it. The sticker is so blah. So anyways, that's one keypad. Now let's look. That's the only keypad on the whole system. It did not grab my number, which is, just so you know, 116-99006. And that's nowhere to be found in here. I just wanted to prove to you guys that the it does not grab your, your uh, serial number when you put it in service touchpad mode. So let's get out of here. System program, go up, exit. All right, and then all you do, you do nothing. Once you get out of program, I'm just gonna pretend that I pulled my dongle out. And that's it, guys. And if you notice up here, there's no trouble, no nothing. System is okay. Anyways, guys, that was just a quick tutorial for you on service touchpad uh, modes. and. The, the end result, what Service Touchpad does for you is, I mean, you, do, you don't have to use that. You can power down, power back up, and let it scan the buses and all that stuff. Uh, but it just saves you from getting into the program, searching through, finding your serial number, hitting the D key to, you know, to deprogram it, and then getting out of program. Which, you know, in, in, in essence, if you, if you really knew how to do it that way, there's no problem with it. But the service touchpad is so much easier. All you do is just put your dongle on, go eight, installer code, uh, zero two, puts it in the service touchpad mode, do your thing, pull your dongle off, and you're done. You don't have to go back in searching for your serial number and all that malarkey. You know when I'm old when you hear the word malarkey. Anyways, guys. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, hit the subscribe, ring the bell, and uh, more to come. Service touchpad mode. Thanks, guys.